There's a couple of players from the Broncos um, uh, that I think uh, we could definitely throw in here, but we're also going to talk about players from the 49ers. Um, Tristan, give me a young standout player. Uh, we'll start with the Broncos, who you think is just a bowler. There's two of them, and they both play the same position. Um, <laughs> I had to go with Judy and KJ Hamler. Mm -hmm. um, these guys are electric. They're not big body, big physical receivers, but their footwork, they can move with the best of them. Um, mm -hmm. can just finesse anybody. But uh, these, these two guys, I thought when they drafted these guys that Denver's offense was going to be electric. I know we talked before the season with one of your buddies who was a Denver fan, I believe, who we all thought Denver's offense was going to be pretty top-notch and they were going to be a good team. Unfortunately, due to some injuries and uh, they had, they had some, definitely nature, some injuries, yep. Um, didn't help their cause, but I think they're still going in the right direction, and I think Denver's on the up. They've got a lot of weapons. Those receivers they have there – and they're uh, Noah Fant, their tight end. Their running backs, they have good running backs. Um, Locke, we're still not really sure if he's the guy or not. I think he is. I like Drew Locke. Um, I think he's a really talented player, a really raw player, that once he develops more, he'll be a really good quarterback. But Jerry Judy and K.J. Hamler are, in my eyes, they could both very well be Pro Bowl wide receivers in the next couple of years. And I think they will be. Um, it probably won't be both of them because Jerry Judy is probably going to get most of the love. But Handler, he's one of those guys that I think is going to he's going to be there and he's going to develop for a while under the shadow of Jerry Judy, and he's going to go on to a different team and be the number one, and he's automatically going to be a Pro Bowler. I think KJ Handler is that talented. Um, same for Jerry Judy. They're I think they're both equally talented. I like them both a lot. I would love to have either of those guys on the Packers, but. Uh, yeah, I just I, I see really really bright futures for Judy and Hamler. You know, I I'm not gonna lie to you. I I kind of had a feeling you were gonna choose them, uh, so I I kind of had to go out and uh, do a different thing here, um, and and kind of choose uh, some different players that I thought would make it. But you're absolutely right about those players. Uh, their their offense is so unique and all the different weapons that they have that you really have to give them a lot of credit and a lot of respect. So um, there's a lot of things you have to definitely consider when you're when you're playing them because when they do have Drew Locke, who I think has shown flashes, when they do have all of their roster that's 100% healthy, their offense is something special. Uh, again. Hamler and Judy are going to be very special players in the NFL, um, and I think Drew Locke, whether he's the answer or not, wh whoever the quarterback is, they've got weapons. Weapons is not a problem. I think if this team can get healthy, they can definitely be uh, a very a tough team moving forward. They, uh, they still have Cortland Sutton? Yeah, they still have Cortland Sutton, who tore his ACL this year, too. I mean, they, this this team is dripping with talent. Literally dripping with talent. That's how talented this team is in terms of I mean, wide receivers, running backs, like you said, offensive linemen even does some good things. 